for the love of God, if you are ever going to watch a foreign film, don't ever watch it with the pre-dubbed recording of English language. Don't. The Host, released in 2006 and is directed by Bon Jun Ho, who is a very popular director nowadays after winning Best Director and winning Best Picture for his film Parasite. And just like that film, this film is also starring Song Kang Ho, who has been probably the go-to actor when it comes to me watching any South Korean film that comes out, or that's recommended to me, because this film, up until Parasite, was the most recommended film that I've received on this channel. So. Definitely excited, we're finally getting around to watching it. I just unfortunately had the English dubbed version. It almost ruined it. After dumping a shit ton of formaldehyde into the Han River, a mutated fish grows up to be a one terrifying, devastating monster. That just all of a sudden pops out of the river one day and starts wreaking havoc on all of South Korea. However, our lead character, Park Gang Du, played by Sung King Ho, has his daughter taken by the monster. And the entire film explores his method of going about trying to save his daughter and trying to save basically all of the world from this terrifying, mutated monster. Now, after I read off that premise, this is basically Taken. Liam Neeson's Taken, just with a fish monster. Wherever you are, if you don't return my daughter, I will find you, and I will kill you. <laughs> having that conversation over the phone, especially with Liam Neeson. <laughs> uh, I think any good movie reviewer would cut that out. No, that's staying in here. <laughs> I think from now on I'm going to refer to the fish monster as the terrorist and Song Kang Ho as Liam Neeson. No, I won't do that. Song Kang Ho is actually a very, very good actor. We have seen him a lot this, this year alone on this channel. We reviewed A Taxi Driver and then a few weeks ago we reviewed Parasite. He is a fantastic actor and I love the, all two films that I've seen him in. Actually, three films too. He has that knack of being like this lowlife or being this coward, someone that you just, you look down upon. But by the end of the film, just picks you back up and you're rooting for him in every single film that he is in. Maybe it's typecasting, we could probably attribute a lot of it to that, but I think he just has a knack for being, just looking at him, being that type of, of down on his luck person that you get behind. It's protagonist 101. Now I had read up on this movie before I viewed it, I had read the synopsis, and I thought this was going to be just a straight horror film, a straight monster film, kind of like Nightmare on Elm Street or Friday the 13th or any like Godzilla monster movie. But this film is it's actually pretty, it's pretty political and at sometimes it's very humorous. It's a little meta, actually. It's making fun of the monster horror genre a little bit, especially when we get to scenes like with the doctors and with the self-quarantine scenes. After saying things like, oh shit, that gas was supposed to be on to clear everything out. Shit. Small things like that that I just found hilarious. But I wasn't sure at first. I'm like, okay, I'm not, I don't know if, if how they're reacting and how they're acting in these scenes, if it is supposed to be like this. Or if they're try, if are they taking this seriously, and they're just kind of going crazy? It took me a while to realize, like, oh, okay, there we do have some serious scenes in here, and we do have some actual pain, but we also have some lighthearted. Hey, we realize that this genre is a little ridiculous, so we're kind of having a little bit of fun with it. I appreciate that a lot. So many of these films take themselves way too seriously. It's nice to have a little bit of fun and to incorporate a little bit of humor into serious situations like this. And just like with my last review, Contagion, not only is this a monster movie, but gosh, all these people have fear that now there is a disease out there that caused this monster to be created, and now all of these people are contaminated, and they all contracted the disease somehow in South Korea. I just can't get away from films about stupid diseases and self-quarantines and self-isolations 
it's like it's just it's all over the fucking place. And there's a fun little twist with that too at the end of the film, which I'm not going to spoil because I definitely recommend that everyone should check this one out. This was early on in Bong Joon Ho's uh, directorial experience. Of course, he'd had some previous to this, so but, but this was a little bit earlier. This is definitely way before he ever won Best Picture at the Oscars here in America, which of course that's the only you know caveat to being an actual good director is being nominated for that here in America, regardless of where you are from. I hope you can sense the sarcasm with that. I just wish I would have watched this without that stupid English dubbing. It was a digital copy. I also purchased the Blu-ray, but just for convenience sake, I did watch the digital version. Maybe that one had the English dub on it and the Blu-ray actually didn't. I don't know, but my god. Never ever watch dubbing films. Be an adult and read. Read the subtitles. Don't ever go away from that. You, you'll be fine. Because those English-speaking actors who are dubbing for these Korean actors are not conveying the emotion behind their voices. You will see them emoting on screen and you know screaming, but that's not what we're hearing. We just hear someone going, oh, I am sad. Hey, what are you doing over there? Whoa, the monster is coming right for us. Basically like little tiny William Shatner's. My God Bones, what have I done? Don't ever do it. I'm also shocked at how early we actually saw this monster. Typically in a monster film, they, they kind of save the reveal, whether it's because of budgeting or, or whether it's from the storytelling aspect. We we sh don't show the, the monster's face until maybe the end of Act 1, but mostly like around Act 2, Act 3, that's when we get the full scope of this monster. We see the monster right away in this movie. And I gotta be honest, at first, and in some scenes throughout, that CGI... It ain't looking too good. Other times it looked very impressive, but eh, there were times where I'm like, <laughs> I know it's 2006, but we, we, Lord of the Rings came out a few years before this. We we were doing good there. And I don't know, maybe maybe I'm just used to like the Power Rangers. Maybe I'm used to Godzilla, but when I think of monster movies and just monsters in general, I think of monsters that stand like way above skyscrapers because they just easily bulldoze them over and then we have a teen of teenagers coming in that morph up and then they have a whole bunch of zords that they transform together into one magical zord even though they should have just been separated all together and attacked five different ways at the monster i think that would have been more effective but <laughs> shit where was i going with that oh yes the monster the monster's size in this film was actually very surprising he was actually not that big it was probably about the size of a one-story house i would say and a tail with a mind of its own i think that's the best word to describe this movie is surprising in almost every aspect every character every scene every plot device every story pivot that we take was actually very surprising and I wasn't seeing this film going down certain avenues. I wasn't seeing this film, you know, say goodbye to certain characters so quickly or in such a manner of, hey, this kind of just happens. They didn't go out in the in the flames of glory or anything like that. This film is just surprising. And I think it's a fun, entertaining time that everyone should enjoy. Just watch the Korean version. Do not watch the English dub version, please, for the love of God. I'm gonna give the host four out of five blue rings. It's good. It's good. It's good. All right, everyone, now comes my favorite part in my videos where I randomly select which movie I'm going to be watching next. So let's take a look. Oh, <laughs> boy. Warcraft! A movie that garnered like 16 different sequels because it was so big. It did not do that. Another video game movie review that we're going to be adding to the channel. I think the last one that I did was Tomb Raider, which actually I was pretty impressed with. And from what I remember watching this movie, I was actually okay with it. Or at least I, w I would have been going along with it. I, re I remember it being very beautiful and very clean and very bright and very colorful. I couldn't tell you any character names or what they were doing, but I remember it, it looked pretty. Her. We'll check out what all the fuss was about next time, so thank you very much everyone for the recommendation of the host. If any of you have recommendations of films that you want me to review on here, leave your comment below this video, or go to my Facebook page, my Instagram, or my Twitter, leave your recommendation there. And if I have access to it, I will watch, review it, and give you a shout out on the channel. So guys, have you seen The Host? What did you think about it? Or if you've never seen it before and you stumbled across it because of this video, comment below, let me know what you thought about it. If you like what you saw here, if you like my take on movies, hit the subscribe button, it helps me out with growing this channel. And if you have friends, 
family members, send them over here. Hit them, hit the subscribe button if they like hearing people talk about movies. If you watch my arachnophobia watch through and reactions uh, from a couple of weeks ago or from a couple of reviews ago, please like that video and, and put a smile on my face. And for all of you that are self-quarantined and self-isolated at this time, I think it's a good fun time just to pop on every once in a while to have a good laugh. So guys, I will see you next time with my review of Warcraft. So in the meantime, be well, be good to each other, and go watch a movie. Take care, guys.